Make holiday gatherings more delicious at Whole Foods Market. Whether you're the host or the guest who aims to impress, save now on baking essentials from 365 by Whole Foods Market. Need some extra help? Pick up crowd-pleasing flatbreads that are ready to heat or build a lovely charcuterie board with sales on specialty cheeses and meats. Holiday wines and beers are also on sale starting at 7.99. Host the perfect holiday party with Whole Foods Market. Must be 21+. Plus. Please drink responsibly. Apple Gift Card is a practical gift that unlocks a world of entertainment and fun. You can send it via email or give a physical card to your loved ones. Your friends and family can spend it on their favorite Apple services, including Apple subscriptions. Apple Gift Card can be used to buy all things Apple. Products, accessories, apps, games, movies, TV shows, iCloud Plus, and more. Visit apple.com for details and to send Apple Gift Cards to your friends and family this holiday season. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2384. How to Motivate Yourself to Work Out When You're Not Feeling It by Andy Thusen of andythusen.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Welcome to another edition of Optimal Health Daily. This is one of just a few podcasts in the world where blogs are read to you. And on this show, you get the added bonus of hearing my commentary at the end. Oh, and another bonus. On Fridays, I answer your questions. Now, to check out our other shows, just search for Optimal Living Daily wherever you're hearing this. All right, and with that, let's get to today's post and start optimizing your life. How to Motivate Yourself to Work Out When You're Not Feeling It by Andy Thusen of andythusen.com. As a personal trainer, I get asked all the time, how do I motivate myself to work out? Most assume that I was born with this super gene to be motivated and have a relentless desire to crush my fitness goals. I assure you that this is not the case. I am a regular person, just like so many of you. My days are filled with chores just like everyone else. Laundry, messes, carpools, cooking, cleaning, and other non-glamorous stuff that's best not to get into. I don't have a fancy home gym or personal trainer, oh wait, that's me, and no personal chef prepping healthy food, also me. I get tired. I feel lazy. I feel unmotivated. So how do I deal? That's the question, right? How to motivate yourself to work out? This question bears on all of us. It's easy to beat ourselves up when we can't seem to make ourselves get up and move. When our motivation seems out of our grasp, it's easy to feel guilt and shame. I'm going to tell you right now to stop that thinking. Motivation is not natural. It's not a gene you're missing. But you can hack motivation and build new habits that will help you to create an exercise routine that provides you with the built-in motivation you desire. It boils down to some crucial tips that have kept me going over the years. These tips help me to stay motivated and keep at it. 10 Ways to Hack Workout Motivation 1. Set a schedule Commit yourself to making your health a priority. Think through your day and set a time to work out. Setting up specific times to work out each day will help you schedule your exercise motivation. For me, first thing in the morning works best. I set my alarm clock and I do the thing. So sit down and figure out What the best time for you is? Is morning better? Afternoon? Lunch break? Or evening? Building your own workout schedule is so important in cultivating motivation. Treat these scheduled daily workouts like lunchtime with an important business associate or your best friend. Would you cancel on them? Heck no. Honor yourself and don't cancel on yourself. Two, prepare ahead. The night before, Pick out your workout clothes, set aside your yoga mat or other gym equipment, and have your gym bag ready. That way, when it's your time to work out, you get dressed, grab your things, and get going. Once dressed, it's pretty hard to talk yourself out of it. 3. Caffeine If getting revved up for a workout, especially early in the morning, is a struggle, caffeine is a much-needed item. It will help your body and mind rev up quickly to perform and push yourself fully when you get to the gym. Because, let's be honest, once you take a huge shot of caffeine, it's go time, and there's no backing down, at least for me. 4. Commit to 5 minutes. So now that you've consumed your caffeine, are all dressed, brought out the weights, and are all set up to work out, let's say at home, you still might not be feeling it. It happens to me all the time. I can't seem to get motivated. 
I want to lounge around and I can't seem to get excited to get moving. We're friends, so I can freely admit this, right? When you're feeling this way, scroll through your phone and find a song that you can't help but want to sing along with, move to, and that puts you in a good mood. Then set your alarm for five minutes. So with music thumping and your timer going, give it your all for five minutes. We can all commit to five minutes. Facebook quizzes take more time. And then, if you're still not feeling it after five minutes, allow yourself to quit. But I have only quit twice in the five years I have lived by this rule. And that was when I was legitimately sick both times. But what usually happens is that after five minutes, your heart rate is going and you're smiling because your jam is on and you know you can do it. It's a magical tool to use to help trick your motivation into kicking in. Five, craft an amazing playlist. Another way to infuse your workouts with some positive energy and a shot of fun is with the perfect playlist. So take some time to peruse in search of some new tunes to infuse your workouts with some kick. Or if you love listening to podcasts like this one or books, do that. The more you can add fun and an extra level of motivation, the better. Love listening to this podcast but never have time? Treat yourself to a listen while you work out. Six, find what works for you. If you hate going to the gym, don't go to the gym. If you hate running, don't run. I know this sounds like a simple thought, but so many of us are swayed by fitness influencers on social media selling what works for them. But know this, if you hate the workout, it will not work for you, no matter what Mr. or Miss Fitness McGee says. So learn to listen to your body. What type of movement does it enjoy? High intensity interval training or HIT, strength training, fitness classes, maybe on-demand workouts, you'll never stick to your workout routine if you do not love it. So please find a fitness program you love and do that. Seven, find a workout buddy. For many of us, having an accountability partner is a great way to add extra motivation. So find a friend with similar goals and fitness interests and make a plan. Knowing that the other person is counting on you to show up is great motivation. Or find an online community where you can check in for some accountability. Eight, external rewards. As caregivers, we bribe our kids a lot, or at least I do as needed. So why not bribe yourself? Want a fancy new jacket? Why not set a goal of working out so many days and earn that jacket? It will feel so much better when you earn it versus just going out and buying it. So pick something you really want, set your goal, and get to work earning it. Nine. Forgive yourself. It's going to happen. You will miss workouts. It's life. Things come up. But here is the most important takeaway. Do not let a missed workout turn into a week, then a month, and then a year. This is what happened to me in the first place. I became complacent. I decided I was too busy to work out and that chasing my kids and keeping a house was enough of a workout. My body didn't change until I committed and stayed committed. Yes, you will miss workouts. You're human. But please do not get mad at yourself, berate, or belittle yourself. Shake it off and remember that tomorrow is a new day and you can do this. And 10, love yourself. Don't work out to look hot. Don't work out for someone else's approval. Choose to be fit and healthy for you. You are worth it. And I know once you commit to your fitness journey, you will feel so much better and the health benefits far outweigh a stupid number on the scale. So remember, there are so many amazing and wonderful non-weight loss related things that will happen for you. But it starts with truly loving yourself and making yourself a priority because you are amazing and impressive. And don't forget it. I hope these tips help you to realize that motivation is not a gene or a secret gift some of us have that others do not have. Motivation is tricky and not built in. Knowing this makes all the difference. So now you can hack your motivation and find ways to trick yourself into moving your body daily. Your body is aching for it. Our bodies need to move. It is how we move energy that's stagnant within us. If you are new to physical activity, start with baby steps. Set a goal to work out for five minutes every day, then gradually increase it every day. The end goal is to build habits, not to crank out an intense workout every time. Be patient with yourself. 
it is okay to start with small goals and work from there. With each little goal you achieve, your own motivation will grow. And there's a very good chance that you will develop a new robust, healthy habit of moving your body daily. And my dear friend, that is the long-term goal of a daily habit of treating your body well and getting it moving. You just listened to the post titled, How to Motivate Yourself to Work Out When You're Not Feeling It by Andy Thusen of andythusen.com. Make holiday gatherings more delicious at Whole Foods Market. Whether you're the host or the guest who aims to impress, save now on baking essentials from 365 by Whole Foods Market. Need some extra help? Pick up crowd-pleasing flatbreads that are ready to heat or build a lovely charcuterie board with sales on specialty cheeses and meats. Holiday wines and beers are also on sale, starting at $7.99. Host the perfect holiday party with Whole Foods Market. Must be 21 plus. Please drink responsibly. If I were to ask you to name four classic Christmas movies, could you answer in under 15 seconds? If the answer is yes, then you need to play Trivia Star. Trivia Star is a free mobile game with over 60 different categories to choose from, including music, TV, sports, and more. Plus, right now for the holiday season, Enjoy limited time categories like Christmas movies and holiday songs. Play any time from your smartphone and expand your knowledge. And right now, Trivia Star is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play, which come in handy if you get stuck on hard questions. I've sure enjoyed the extra points and gems because sometimes you need them. And trust me, the last thing you want is to stop playing. Trivia Star has thousands of five-star reviews in the App Store and is the number one trivia game on iPhone. Download it today to test yourself with over 10,000 trivia questions. Just go to the Apple or Google Store and search for Trivia Star. Download Trivia Star for free and train your brain today. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I personally use so many of the suggestions Andy mentioned in today's post to keep me motivated to exercise. Yes, I love to exercise, but I'm human there are days when I simply don't feel like doing it. Of the ones Andy listed, here are those that I find personally helpful. After all, Andy mentioned finding what works for you, and here are the ones that work for me. Scheduling my exercise. I actually block time on my work calendar for it. That way there are no time conflicts. Next, I prepare ahead. I have my clothes ready to go, and I also know which body parts I'm going to work or what type of cardio I plan to do. Now, I do understand that when you get to the gym, someone may be using the equipment you had planned on using, but still go in with a plan. And part of that plan is to adapt. If someone's using the shoulder press machine, grab some dumbbells and do standing dumbbell shoulder presses instead. Next up, caffeine. Many studies have found that caffeine can help improve cardio endurance. So, if your goal is to go for a walk or jog, Having a cup of plain coffee or tea an hour or so before your cardio session can help. But if you find your body does not like caffeine or your doctor said to stay away from it, then of course, you can skip this suggestion. Next, an amazing playlist. I'm the type of person who loves having music playing almost all of the time, but especially during my workouts. One of the reasons I look forward to my workouts is the music I get to listen to. There's no other time in my day that I listen to my workout playlist, so it feels special. And lastly, something I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, when I really feel unmotivated, I remind myself how lucky I am to have the ability to move my body in the first place, that I have the resources, the good health, and the time to do so. Now, just because these suggestions work for me doesn't mean they're gonna work for you. So try one of today's author's Andy suggestions and see how it goes. If it doesn't suit you, it's okay. Move on to trying another. You will find something that works. All right, that'll do it for another edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great rest of your day and be sure to tune in again tomorrow where I'll have another post for you and where your optimal life awaits.